Hello friends, today I am going to solve lead code problem number 2462 total cost to hire key workers. So in this problem we are given a zero indexed array costs and each of the um, value in this integer represents the cost of hiring the worker at that position. Okay and we are also given two integers k and candidates. k represents the number of uh, workers that we need to hire and we have k number of sessions. Okay so in each session we are only going to um, hire one worker only so k means k number of hires one hire per session okay and candidates so this integer candidate represents that we can only select candidates number from the first and from the last okay so let's look at this example here we have the candidates equals to two which means that um, in the first session we uh, take the first two um, candidates cost and the last two candidates cost okay so these two so among the first two which is uh, here underlined the first two and the last two which is the smallest one is the smallest right so we take that um, as the cost of hiring and next in the next session what we do is we remove this one because now we have already hired that candidate so we don't want to hire it again right so in the next session that is in the next round now we are going to hire our second uh, candidate so for that again we are going to select two candidates from the first and two candidates from the last and then we are going to um, choose the smallest uh, cost candidate so we have two values which have the smallest um, cost right that is two and two so among these this is this uh, candidate has the list index right so we are going to choose that one okay so we what we are going to do is we are going to take the uh, list smallest one and among them also if we have multiple of them then we are going to break the tie using uh, index okay the smallest index okay so now we have an example here i'm taking i have taken this example and let's see how we could solve this one okay so um what do we have is we have three uh case which mean like we need to hire three candidates okay so there will be three sessions and we have the number of candidates equals to four so let's start let's see how we could do it so we take four values from here from the first and four values from the last this is one two three four okay so we have these many from the first and these many from the last okay now we need the smallest one okay so what we do is we take both of them together and then we sort them okay so when we are sorting uh we we need the smallest one right basically we don't even sort we are actually taking just the smallest one so we have two values which are smallest right these two are the smallest values okay let me just erase this so these two are the smallest values that we found now among these two values the index of this one is lower than this one right so we are going to select this one now once we have done that now since we selected uh, the value from our first uh, candidates call uh series right first series we selected it from the first four series right so now we are not going to consider this but we need to consider this one again right and the last four will still be the same so among 17 12 10 and 7 here okay i'm just going to do this thing let me just so here now we are not considering two at all because two is already been added to our cost so our cost is equals to 2 and now among 17 12 10 and 7 and the last four which of them is the smallest one 2 is the smallest one right so here we take the value of 2 and we add it to our cost so we have done two of the uh, sessions right now in the next session we are not going to consider this value of 2 so we just erase this from here so it's like erased now the first uh, series will be the same we still have four candidates here now in the last series we only have three candidates right but can we take the fourth one no because it is already in the first series so we are not going to take that one 
and now let's compare again while we are comparing the smallest one is 7 right so since it is on the first one we take the value 7 okay now we have taken the value 7 now here we only have 3 we need to add one more to have a total of four candidates right from each of the sites it should be four but we are already like um like this end and this end the difference is only one right so we could not like uh we are already taking all of these into consideration so we are not going to add any more candidates to the first one to our first series and we have already completed the number of sessions which is equals to three so we have had three um candidates and um, the total cost is equals to 11 here all right so this is the answer that we found now that was the concept that we are going to use to solve but how can we implement this concept so let's look let's repeat again what we are doing okay so let's see so what we did is we took the first four we took the last four and then we picked the smallest one so this means that we are actually using a mean heap concept so what happens in mean heap is that um the top root will always be the minimum value okay and the mean heap will always have two children okay so the rest of the tree may not have the minimum but the top will always be the minimum value okay so that is how we are going to um, get the minimum okay we are just going to in queue from our mean heap so while adding we just keep on we add to our mean heap okay so we start from 17 we add to our mean heap and then 12 10 and 2 so we have we would have something like this let's suppose that we have something like um this okay we have something like this now we have already added the first four now we when we add the last four since two is the minimum one which is already at the top and also by index also it is the minimum so so we will already have it at the top and even though we add the rest of the elements let's suppose i'm just adding it uh, it may not look it look like this in the real algorithm but yeah suppose it's this way okay so while i'm adding this now my top will always have the minimum value okay because i am performing mean heap mean i'm doing mean heap right so here my top will always have the minimum value and that way i can always get the minimum cost from the top and add it to my cost okay so in the next round now we are taking the value seven as well right so we add we we now hippify since we are removing this we will be internally performing hippify so in that case what happens is it will take the minimum value in the heap and then put it to the top so next the value 2 will actually go to our top so we will always have the minimum value in the top so these the rest of the tree it it is not actually what it should look like but i'm just giving an example i don't want to get get into this detail but yeah the top will always be the minimum one and we can always get this minimum from the top okay so we we let's suppose we have a seven here now because we had to add the seven in the second round and then we got the value from the top which is the minimum next while we remove the um we dq from our top um the algorithm will then internally perform hippify so while it is hippifying again the least value will go to the top so now we have a seven at the top so we will get the value seven and so on so this is what we are going to do we are going to use the concept of mean heap okay and we will uh, keep on adding to our mean heap and every time we are going to add the number of candidates is four or the left should not be close to right okay so this that is the concept now let's start coding so let us first create our mean heap so let priority queue equals new so um i'm using the um uh the heap 
priority queue heap provided by our lead code in javascript we actually do not have priority queue heap so if you are actually coding then in you have you might have to like uh, create the whole algorithm by yourself but in case of um, lead code i'm going to use the uh, the heapify uh, library provided by the lead code so uh, mean priority queue so i'm going to use this from um, lead provided by lead code now we are going to create our algorithm for compare so since we need to compare two values based on what based on if the two values are equals to uh, is not equal then uh, we take the list of them right we need to we are we need to create a mean heap so we are the val the index zero means the cost so if the cost is minimum then that should be the uh, uh, condition for our priority queue if the cost is equal then we need to uh, create the mean heap based on the index okay so the next element would be the index all right I mean, yeah, okay, sorry. Now that we have created our mean heap priority queue, now let's add to our priority queue, okay? So, first of all, let us define some values. So, let uh, len equals to uh, length of our cost array. Now, let we define our left index which is equals to zero and our right which will be the last uh, one that is length minus one okay because we are starting from here right from the first and from the last so la first is at index zero and last is, is at index uh, length minus one so this is of length nine so that would be at index eight okay and now what we are going to do is we are going to add four candidates right to our heap starting from zero so that is what we are going to do here so for len l l should be less than equals to not equals to actually because l is starting from zero to index right so it should be less than candidates and also there could be a case where like we only have three values here so the value of candidate is equals to four but we only have three elements so in that case we need to take the index right index will be here right so the index at right so that is where we are going to stop and left should be less than right and we keep incrementing left and now here we are going to in queue in q u e u e in q what so here we are comparing the value and the index right so that is what we will push we will push the cost at l and the index which is l okay that's costs and similarly for starting from the last so right should be greater than uh yeah greater than um the land land okay because we already have this land minus candidates it should be actually greater than equals to land minus candidates so let's see here okay so here in this case we have candidates equals to four okay let me just erase this clear these things out okay so we have candidates equals to four and our index right index is here right at index eight so what we do is um, our length is equals to nine so how many do we need to insert four right one two three four so what is the uh, position of this one let's start from here zero one two three four five okay so this is five so now let's see we need to add four candidates so starting from eight we are moving uh, back right so that is actually if we take the length which is 9 so 9 minus 4 is equals to 5 right so we basically end here right here so that is why we are what we are doing 
we are taking right greater than equals to length minus candidates and also right um so let's see here um let's suppose okay let's suppose that we only have um only have seven elements here so we took the first four here now our left index is has reached at uh this point okay we started from zero we added that we incremented by one we incremented two we incremented one more time and next when we incremented um the value of l is equals to four and we are only inserting while l is less than candidates so now since here l equals to four is equals to candidate so we do not insert that one okay so we stop right there now while we are doing it for for right okay this is left four and while we're starting from right it is at index six okay so we insert this we decrement now right is here okay we insert this one as well we decrement here now right is here so we have to push this one right because it's less than candidates the number of candidates is still um we still need to add more candidates right and this one has not yet been pushed so even though the left pointer is pointing here we still need to push this one in our uh, queue so we are going to enqueue that one as well so right should be um, greater than equals to left okay and right minus minus now let's enqueue i'm just going to copy this and change this value to right okay so now we have added all the values candidates into our queue priority queue at the top will now have the list one okay now we need to find the cost so let total cost of hiring is equals to zero initially okay now each time we perform our uh, session while k is greater than zero so each time we are performing our session we need to find the cost right so let um cost comma index is equals to um now we dq from our q okay so we now add to our total cost the cost because this is a minimum one and then what we do is next we need to check did the cost index come from the first half i mean first uh four candidates or the last candidates okay so if index is less than um left and also um, um index should be less than the last in, in the last value right So index less than left yeah and left should be less than right here so in that case we took the value from the left side so we need to now enqueue one more value from the left so i'm just going to take this one paste it here and then increment the value of left okay else if index is gre greater than equals to right and left is less than equals to right so here in this case we are going to do this because we took it from the right and right minus minus okay and this way we'll get our total cost and finally we are going to return total cost okay
all right now let's try to run our code okay i'm getting some error so we are getting a null value here yeah okay why am i still getting my oh all right i did not decrease the value okay okay now let's run it awesome now let's try to submit this one great so here we have our solution using mean priority queue in JavaScript okay so um, talking about the time complexity we are using a while loop here and we are iterating k number of times but we are also creating our priority queue right and while we are creating our priority queue we are performing that for each of the element and maximum would be that we would create a priority queue for each of them right so that would be equals to the length of the cost so if this is n then that would be o of n time complexity and the space complexity would also be o of n so yeah that's it about the solution let me know in the comment section down below how do you think about my solution and if you have any problems that you want me to solve let me know in the comment section below as well thank you